Hey there, Modesto City School students. Today we're diving into the exciting world of school links, your gateway to shaping your future. In this video, we will cover how to log in and get started with Course Planner in School Links, guide you through selecting any applicable programs and the necessary courses to meet the program requirements, how to select general education and other courses to populate your course planner, how to locate and correct errors within your plan, and how to find help. Let's start by revisiting how to log in. Head to the MCS app portal and find School Links. Click on the icon to open the School Links platform. If you haven't completed your onboarding, make sure to do so now. Also, keep an eye out for the Pulse surveys, which are designed to support your emotional well-being. And as always, check for any pending to-dos and tackle them promptly. Let's talk about an integral part of School Links, the Course Planner tool. Now that you've completed onboarding and taken your Find Your Path survey, you should have some idea about what you want to do after high school. As a reminder, you can review your future goals on your profile page. This tool enables you to plan your remaining high school classes effectively, ensuring you can reach the goals you've set for your post high school endeavors. What kind of classes or programs will help you achieve your goals? To locate your course planner, navigate to the left-hand menu and click the School section to open the menu and select the Course Planner from the options. Once the Course Planner opens, you will see a welcome screen confirming your school and graduation plan. Click on Let's Go to get started. The first screen you will encounter will be a program selection screen. You will see site-specific programs as well as CTE programs that are available to you. If you wish to participate in a specific program, select the category choice from the options on the right to explore the available options within that category. You can elect to participate in one or more programs by clicking the category and then selecting an option from the displayed choices. Completing this step will allow you to add the applicable courses to your course planner and ensure you are meeting the necessary requirements for any selected programs. If you make a program choice and click continue, the next screen you will see is the option to add courses to your selected pathways. If you choose not to take part in a specific program track, click continue to bypass this step. If you have any questions about whether a specific program would be suitable for you, check with your counselor for more information. Let's take a look at the course planner. See these icons? Each one represents a crucial subject category of the app. You can select them directly or proceed through them in order as you complete your course additions. A black icon means you have met the requirements for that subject category, while a red icon indicates that you have not yet added the courses necessary to fulfill your graduation requirements for that subject, or there's a potential error with that subject's courses. Follow along now as we create a course plan and navigate through each section to add the appropriate courses to each subject. As you proceed with adding your courses, ensure that you choose your course sequence by utilizing the Select option. This ensures that you accurately pick the appropriate courses for each grade level within your course planner. One thing to keep in mind, more selective colleges will desire more rigorous coursework. Check with your counselor if you have any questions about whether or not a course of a certain level would be suitable for you to align with your selected college and career goals. In the elective section, click to add courses to your planner. Does the list of available courses seem overwhelming? Don't worry, you can search for courses with ease using the built-in filters within the Schooling's course planner. Simply type in your interest, like art, and the platform will display relevant options. Some options will qualify as a practical or visual art, and you will be informed of this when you select that option. Your choice will then be moved to the appropriate section within the course planner. Click Got It in the pop-up alert and click Continue to move on to select your alternate electives. Within the alternate elective section, you will include three courses to be utilized if your initial elective choices are not accessible. 
Your substitutes must differ from your chosen electives. Select three alternate electives using the same method of adding a new course and typing your interest in the search field to find what you're looking for. Once you progress through your course plan, you will reach the summary page. Here, you can see an overview of the courses you've already taken, as well as the courses you've added to plan for your future. The red highlights or indicators indicate an error in your course plan. By identifying these sections, you can quickly determine which courses may need further attention or need to be adjusted. If you encounter errors and don't know how to fix them, don't worry. You can submit your plan and include a note to your counselor. We're here to support you as you plot your journey. This page also allows you to check to see if you are meeting different graduation requirements, such as A to G graduation requirements or even NCAA requirements. You can see if a course qualifies for these requirements by referring to the course tags located here. But you can also click the Other Options tab shown here and open up a menu that will allow you to explore your graduation requirements and more readily see where you might be missing a requirement. This also allows you to easily see which courses you may need to add to meet that requirement. Once you have completed your course planner, click the Submit button in the bottom right corner. You will see a pop-up alerting you to any outstanding errors that need to be addressed. You can click Fix Errors to be taken back to the course planner to allow you to fix them before submitting. But if you're unsure as to how you can correct the errors shown, you can click the field to add a note to your counselor to explain the errors and request additional help. Once you have submitted your course planner to your counselor, they will review it and work with you to make any needed adjustments. Now you've begun the process of laying out your roadmap to success. And here's some exciting news. Starting this coming spring, Course Planner will be used for balloting purposes. That means the plan you create today will shape your educational journey tomorrow. Whether you're heading into a trade, the military, or college, this tool will guide you. Also remember, your counselors are your allies. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or need guidance. You're not just planning your courses, you're writing your graduation story. Every step you take here paves the way for a bright future. Keep going, keep dreaming, and remember, you're on the right path. Write your graduation story. Thank you for watching this short video on the SchoolLinks Course Planner. 